back to another video it's been a while but back with another one uh, I finally got a legit you know seat racing seat for this car uh, it's a Momo start series uh, seat and uh picked up a PCI racing seat bracket um, I'm gonna install that today this weekend at Steve's place but right now I'm actually at my parents place where the car is at and what I'm gonna do is gut more of the car and remove some more panels um, probably these sills uh, I want to eventually gut everything or just about everything but there's probably some stuff I'm gonna leave for now like this roof liner I'm probably gonna leave uh, for now um, the center console I'm gonna leave uh, I do want to remove the, the door panels but I might leave them on for now uh, but I do want to remove what I can before going to Steve's place uh, and then when we're there and, and installing the seats I'm probably gonna remove all the the rest of the carpet the rest of the carpet and the sound deadening under and the sound deadening under it so I need to pick up some dry ice for that too but yeah so it's gonna this car is gonna get more and more race car -y, that's for sure so by the way I'm also gonna leave this passenger seat in for now because at my stage of uh, track and whatnot I still much prefer having like instructors or somebody riding with me uh, when possible uh, for instruction advice stuff like that uh, and then later on you know remove it for the whole weight reduction thing uh, although when we take out the carpet later I might remove it so I could remove the uh, Amp, the stock amp that's under there, and then later on, I get a whole a nice uh, steering wheel setup, replace the stock one. But yeah, so let's get on with this. Thank you. 
guys went ahead and gutted the rear even more as you can see these side panels are out and on each side I removed the door sills and uh, the uh, plastic right there and a little bit I'm gonna go to Steve's and we're gonna remove and delete this carpet delete the sound deadening underwear uh, under it and install the new seat all right Two hours later. Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm here at Steve's place. He's helping me with uh, the seats now. We're actually gonna be removing the seats so we can remove the uh, carpet so we can do the sound deadening removal. I have uh, some dry ice from HEB earlier. Um, by the way, I made a grave mistake. I ordered the seat without mounting hardware. So I had to go to Lowe's to get Oh wait, there's the uh, the stock amp. I've been meaning to take that out after, after we did the stereo delete and stuff. But yeah, so I had to get some mounting screws. They're M8 to 1.25 by 20 millimeters. Yeah, so I got those, some crush washers and some flat washers. Uh, but we're gonna mess with that later. Right now we're just gonna gut as much out of this front area of the car. We're uh, doing this just to get the carpet out, but we're gonna put the passenger seat back in just without the amp. And we're just gonna be removing the stock seats in the front altogether so we can put this bad boy in. Yeah. For your information, guys, like the mounting seats are behind the, the car. Like there. And then in the front part, there's two like facing that way. So, FYI. All right, there them seats are. So we are about to remove this this uh, carpet here. I don't think we need to remove the center console. It probably. It doesn't go under. Uh, let me see. Is the console hard to take off? Nah, it's not. There's two screws, one on each side there, and then uh, I want to say there's like one in here or something, one or two in there, oh, yeah, but yeah. then it's all just clips after that. Oh shit, that's a lot of sound deadening. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. That's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Ooh. How do you get the ones on the sides? I have no idea. I'm assuming you'd have to like just hold the ice on there. Alright. <laughs> sure. Ah, yes, yeah, this, these clips. Take those, it's under the, this little rubber. Ah, oh, I see it. It's just literally just tucked in there. Oh, I see it. Oh, the dead pills just clipped in. Oh, nice. Right down the middle. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's take this foam out. Yeah. So just razor blade and cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Ow. You can just tear it. Selling the carpet? Uh, I might. So 
Yeah. Try to keep it in location. Yeah. Oh, I guess I need to push the wires. Oh, there's another thing I need to cut. Right here. There we go. Nice. Uh, I got something to plug Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to put it in more strategic places. All right. Eventually. All right, guys, we are now in race core mode. So we took out most of the sound editing. There's still some in this passenger footwell, but we ran out of dry ice. And honestly, there's still some spots here and there that still have a uh, sound editing. I think they used like seam sealer or something to stick it on there because they it was not coming off. I have to scrape it the old old fashioned way uh, later on. But we took out like 90% of it, you know. So. The seat, the Momo seat and the PCI mount. Uh, first, we're gonna like, I think we're gonna put the PCI mount in just to see, you know, how it's like, how it is in terms of uh, bolting in. And then we're gonna figure out how to, or where to position the actual seat uh, in terms of like for my body and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, I forgot to record it, but, Here's the bottom part of the PCI. You just use the OEM bolts. Um, you do get these um, when you buy them off their website. You specify what for, for what car. So, as you can see, the bolts are all in, or all four bolts are in. So, the machining is quality parts and pop, you know exact specifications. And there's even a hole for your for your. Uh, uh, what do you call it? OEM belt buckle, which Steve is on over there on the other side, removing it off the chair right now. So, yeah, this is probably the easy part. The hard part is going to be figuring out where, which or where the uh, actual uh, seat goes and whatnot. I'm pretty sure this doesn't even fucking matter anymore. The SRS stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. We're just gonna plug it in for the sake of plugging shit in. <laughs> nice. I just gotta bolt it. So we are trying to figure out now how we're gonna mount this. With these mounts, you could mount them narrow, which is uh, more or less what we're doing, or mount them wide that way. Oh, you know what? It could be either way. If you have this L-shape area towards the back. Yeah, it would be flipped to the other side. Yeah, and it'll push, it'll actually put, it'll actually position the, the seat more forward. So that's what it meant about wide forward and wide rearward. Uh, we're not using washers or anything just yet, and we're just finger tightening things because we want to figure out where I want the, the seat at in terms of positioning. And then we'll take note of where it is and hard mount it. Everything lines up. All right, guys. So we kind of we hand tighten it. We put these uh, mounting uh, plates on this side because it's kind of hard on that side. We're gonna have to take this out and mount those by themselves outside the car, but that's how it sits. I'm fairly sure that's too high. Let's let's see. Too far, huh? Too, yeah, too far. <laughs> too far back and too high. Actually, in terms of height, this is actually lower than the stock seat. Is it? Still, yeah. You gotta remember your helmet, though. Not true. 
good, preferably. <laughs> Prepare for that to be the thing. Yeah. All right. We just need to adjust how far it is from the pedals, because it, it actually is kind of far from the pedals, mm -hmm. for me at least. To, once we get the brackets. Yeah. Then we could like fine tune the positioning. Um. So yeah, we're gonna take this out now and hard mount it and all that before putting it back in the car. So we're just gonna skip all that. All right guys, so is, it took us a while to fine tune it a little bit, but we finally figured out the right position for me. Originally, we were gonna make it to where this mount is higher while this is lower. So that way there's a little bit of a rake uh, backwards like this rather than too forward. But it was, it didn't feel right. And we realized, oh, you know what? The way this is mounted to the car is already kind of slanted. It's already kind of slanted like this. So we have it here where we have the rears mounted to the very top port part and just one down from in the front. And it just feels like a natural, natural sitting position. And this, uh, the forward positioning torque bolts, uh, I'm gonna have it all the way forward. I'm actually a lot closer to this steering wheel than I thought I would be, so, which is nice because now figure out my steering wheel, uh, uh, steering wheel setup in terms of aftermarket setups because what I had in mind previously before this, I don't think will work. It will make the steering wheel too close to me. So I'm going to have to re reconfigure my thoughts on that. But yeah, right now we are just putting in the washers and lock washers on the four bolts that go to the, that go to the, the seat. Uh, Steve is doing his side first and I'll do mine. Then we'll scoot it forward and torque down the actual uh, forward sliding bolts. Oh, that's, my battery's almost dying, or is almost dead. FIA cert. All right, we gotta check if the door closes. We forgot to do that, so here we go. A nice. Got just enough room. Uh, ooh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Forgot to do that earlier, but hey, it's it's legit now. All right, guys. So it's all said and done. Mounted just the way I want and need it. Got the PCI sticker and all that. And yeah, it's a long day. It wasn't a hard job, it was just kind of tedious and honestly gutting and doing the sound editing took longer. It was harder, to be honest. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, the next video is probably going to be... Oh, so uh, me and Steve are going to be going to... So we're, there's a Honda, there's Honda, day, Honda track day at MSRH uh, May 6th, um, which is a Thursday or whatever. We're gonna be going there. I registered the RSX. It's gonna be the first time on track in like a year, over a year now. Uh, but we both signed up. Since Steve doesn't have a Honda, he's gonna be. We're gonna be sharing the RSX. So the RSX is gonna be pulling double duty that day. So the next video is probably gonna be that track vlog. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's gonna be other things before. Well, actually, you know what? There might track be. Prep. Yeah, it's gonna be track prep. Uh, we might be able to get the front, the Honda Challenge spec front. Uh, front splitter done before then uh maybe um it, depending on how if we have time and whatnot but yeah good things are coming finally gonna get, be, be able to go on track again and yeah that's about it for this one thanks for watching follow me and steve on instagram and see you on the next one peace